How are we all doing today? Welcome. Hi. We're here. I hope you're all doing well. One second, let's just, uh, there we go. Wow, that is a lot of headroom. This camera is giving <clears throat> and a lot of not centered room. All right, cool. That's much better. I like that better. We did it. We did it, everybody. What are your thoughts on Chris Pratt? Uh, Chris Pratt as Mario feels like a shit post. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Volume's a bit low. Like my volume? I'm... OBS says my voice is fine. Total volume. Oh, there's not much sound right now. Hold on. I, maybe I should turn that up a bit. I don't know. All right, I can get rid of this now, can't I? There we go. I got max volume, and I'm in a Discord call, so it's like a million times louder. Uh, I mean, I haven't changed any of my sound settings. So I don't really know... Like, I'm still hitting yellow on OBS. I don't know. Is, however, very loud for me. Quite very loud. That's a bug. Look at that bug. There we go. Hopefully that... Let me know if any volume needs to change or anything. It looks like the game might need to go down a little bit. In fact, we're going to put the game down a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Oh, I had to hit a button. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not going to use the WASD because... I'm not playing on a keyboard. I'm not a fool. So this is Sable. It is not on the Nintendo Switch. It is on PC, I believe, and PC only? It might be on PlayStation or Xbox. It might be on one of those, but it's not on both. And it's definitely not on Switch. So why am I playing it? Because shut up, I want to. Okay, I highly expect... I fully expected that to not... So I played a demo of this a long while ago. And it was, uh... It was nice. It's a really chill... No, I want to climb up the climb up the ladder. Come on. It was really chill. I had a good time. Oh, this is what we were supposed to do. Okay. very pretty. Yeah. Yes, we just started. So it's basically Breath of the Wild, but I believe there is no combat. And instead of a horse, you get something cooler. Oh, jeez. Just as a note, uh, things might be a slight disaster while playing because I don't usually stream PC games. What's that? 
Oh, I can pick that up. Yes? Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. I don't know who Umar is yet. Are you Umar? The sheep are even wearing masks. Are you Umar? I don't think either of those guys are Umar. I think that guy might have been a little bit bugged out. <laughs> I can feel Jotty smiling. Oh, he wasn't saying that Umar would. Oh, okay. She was, she was talking. That was her inner monologue. Okay. I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask, just as I she, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Haha, -ha, got her! And yet! I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The move movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it, but I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping into me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking just... Watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She could do whatever she wants. Jody reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I don't know where to start. Jody's story warms me, but I feel, I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked Jotty what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you cho choose to stay here with the Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing, so don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now, go speak with Hilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak with Triss. I've told him as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Ciso, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used in my gliding. An artifact, you might say. Take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Alright, let's go talk to... Oh, it's gonna make me do this. Okay. Okay, I don't mind that. Hi, Hilal. I assume you're Hilal. Yeah, as I approach Hilal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a tough touch of nerves to balance. Sable, take this. Hilal hands me a small, round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find softly find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. 
Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell her all that I feel... Electricity? <laughs> then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. <laughs> That's good. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Well, claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of tr it's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? Remember Jotty's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. I want a bike. Gotta get a bike. This game is very uniquely pretty. Though I told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or it has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable! Uh, hello! Frame rate of the walk cycle is very evocative of something that I can't put my finger on. Yeah, I don't know what it reminds me of either, but I think I get what you're saying. Uh... Hello, how are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. Let it hang there a moment, but I can't do it. I'm too keen. And the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike, yes, of course. Yes, your bike. Uh, that I was meant to, that I prepared for you, because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course. Right. Yes. Yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Did you forget? I'm telling you I didn't forget. I just made different arrangements. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about... So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. Fuck you, Driss. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Oh, cool. What good advice. You really, you really fucking... Alright. Wait, where was that, where was the ring that he told me to... Hey, yo, Driss, your bike sucks. Your bike actively sucks, bro. It's so fucking slow. And it, it sounds like it's going to break apart. Any second now. This is bullshit. I'm gonna sue. I will sue. Ah! 
Okay, note to self, don't hit rocks. Now we know. See, now we are learning. We're, we're learning and we're experimenting and trying to figure out what we can or can't do. Uh, oh. Okay, that's neat. All right. So I've played up through these parts in a demo, so I basically know what I'm supposed to be doing first. This music is very charming. Yeah. No, what are you... What the fuck was that? Alright, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine. Don't worry about it. We're gonna make it up this wall that I can climb for some reason, despite the fact that it looks pretty smooth. But we're not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna ask questions. We're gonna look at this fucking rad statue of a butterfly warrior preparing to sumo wrestle. Fuck, I want a statue that cool. Ah! You motherfucker, Halil, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? You knew that the bike wasn't ready, and you figured that if I just fucking died, it wouldn't be a problem anymore. I see your game. I see through your fucking plan. Out of spite, I'm gonna not die. This time. No, that's not what I... Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Exhilarated. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Oh, God. That's really pretty. Am I gonna die? Shit, we're dead. That bubble was hell. Oh, uh, I guess we're going up now. Okay. Sable. Gotta get up or the video game can't happen. Anyways, now it really is Breath of the Wild, because we can glide. Unapologetically. And they shouldn't apologize. Nobody should apologize. I don't think I was supposed to fall down here. I don't think this is where I was supposed to go. Where was I supposed to glide to then? Oh, 
Oh, cool. It's like an elevator. Take me up, my friend. Okay, I gotta figure out where it actually wants me to go from here. Oh, I think I might. No, I think I might have an idea. Rad, it worked. All right, cool. This seems sturdy. It's not like last time we stepped on some wood. It didn't, you know, try to end my existence. It's fine. Wait. Wait. Okay, yeah, now I know what's happening. Yeah! Thank you, Butterfly Sumo Wrestler Man. I'll never forget what you did for me. You're my father now. Or my mother, it's difficult to say. But you are one of my parents. Anyways, now there's something else we can do. Now that we can... The glide. I don't know what's up here, but we're gonna find out. I don't remember. I mean, I guess I should say I don't remember what's up here, but we're going to find out. Ah! Ah! Bro, your sand cutter bike fucking sucks. It's bad. And you should feel bad. There's stuff up there. I keep hitting A thinking it's going to get me off the bike. It is not. A is, stra is uh, strafe. It'd probably be a good idea for me to learn that now instead of six hours from now. No, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Made it, baby. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Got stamina build back up. Keep barely making it. That's worrying me. Up we get! Okay. Just ride back up. Keep on going up. I don't remember what's up here. We're going to find out together. Me and you against the world. That's what this game's about. I think. I don't know. Okay. So now where? Oh, I think I remember what's up here. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. I don't think it's going to let us get the thing yet. Alright, where is my bike? It's over there, okay. Yeah, we're going the right way. Whee! There's a chest! It's treasure! 
Uh, a cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Okay, that's money. We got money. That's good. Money, good. Materialistic society is go. Gonna get on my bike. Gonna go back to village. Tell Hillal that his plan to kill me fucking failed. Now he'll know that I cannot be stopped. Is that the village? Is that where I want to go? Yes, I believe that is where I want to go. Yes, this is the direction we want to go. Well, first we gotta go talk to Driss. I love that just hitting a rock causes me to fucking jump in the air. Whee! Hey, Driss, your bike is garbage. And you should feel like garbage. A return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire. Even a little bit. Was that a possibility? <laughs> well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Dress is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And hilal has got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that, or mobility you're after. My confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Fuck you, Driss. All my homies hate Driss. Driss is literally ruining my quinceanera. I can't abide by this. It's not fair. What are you? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages, zero. Have a good day. Alright, so that's mail. I can get mail now. I have your rock. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know that I've just what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Safe, like a warm hug. I tell Halal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of, ex of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. Very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. Do you have to talk to a therapist, Halal? I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell Hillal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf, and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hillal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all, stay all gains and no loss. Hmm? I think about that, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood, and I also don't get a fucking bike. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're gonna love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot more to be there's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. Warning and a reassurance all in one. I 
I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Gotta go talk to Sizo. Shut up, post box. No one asked you. Least of all me. Oh, Sizo. Maybe you'll give me a fucking bike. Wow, this tower's a lot taller than I thought it would be. I hope that money wasn't yours, Sizo. I have no way of paying it back. Sizo is an outclanner to the Abexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Sizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, that, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can think of only one thing. A bit worried. Am I getting... Am I really getting a bike? <laughs> Sizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jotty told me Jotty told me how excited you were. Sizo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. I do. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this'll be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbark parts hoverbike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own hoverbike? I ask Sizo if I'm expected to make my own hoverbike. No, you're not going to make it. You're, hover... you're not going to make your hoverbike. You are going to build your own hoverbike. What's the difference? To make suggests you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Sizo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. Should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Caesar where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. Yeah, there was a part up there. I knew it. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need another. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. Together we'll create something new out of the old. Um. This is weird. Where's that dam? Show me that dam. I can't, I can't put it far enough. Wait. Okay, I think I understand how this works. There was a... Yeah, it's that. It is very difficult to figure out. I should go explore this. And then she said there was one up there. Perfect. That's not what I meant to do. All right.
Driss, I hope your fucking bike explodes with me on it and you go to jail. Okay, so I can, I can look at these when I'm on the bike. That's good to know. What is up here? I don't think I can climb up here. I don't think I can make it. Oh, no, yes I can. Perfect. Just barely, though. Da, da, da. The fuck are you? Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Alright. We have an egg in this trying time now. So that's good. Alright, to this spaceship. How do I remove this marker? Can I remove this marker? No, God damn it. Oh, when I got here, remove the marker. Perfect. Keep hitting the wrong button to get on the bike. Off we go! Throw me! Man, this bike sucks. <laughs> Driss, you really, really fucked me on this one, man. You fucking son of a bitch. Back are you winning, son? Uh, I'm driving a shitty bike because the guy in charge of getting my bike took it away from me. Or forgot. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. I'm gonna push the button, baby. Voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing around with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think I'll have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if that old machinist told us holds up. Blah, blah, blah. I hit the mutt too early. I hear the sounds of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. A button being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Ramin. Sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, and Rahana's mask, not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. Let me check the machinist's notes. A long pause, the rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Remain? That Levitoba, the one you just ripped out! We're going too fast, we're gonna crash, we need to try to- The recording cuts off there. Well, those people are dead. They fucking died. Sucks to be them. Oh, right. Are you looking for a calibrator? I am immediately on guard. Slima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice, you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. And she never fails to get to me. You're a horrible child. Simon laughs of my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. Put up my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sima. If you give me some beetles... That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? Try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults of the camp know where I can find some. Fuck you, kid. I hope there's something in the desert that fucking eats you. I hope you get thrown into the ocean like all children deserve. 
I'm going to the fucking dam. Do 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 do. Going into this dam. The wonders of industry. That's not what that's supposed to do. Okay, so this is not the way I'm supposed to get up there. So how do I, how do I get up there then? Ba -ba -ba, there we go. Stairs. Nature's stairs. Okay, so that's definitely not where we're supposed to go there either. All right. Uh, let's see. How do I get up there? It's just like a door. No. Oh, was there something over here that I missed? I don't think so. Um... How do I get in there? Was one of these broken or something? Did I just miss that? No? I guess maybe we just... Okay, are we going to make it? Are we going to be able to do it? Are we going to be able to do it? No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Ha-ha! Take that, damn! Thought you could stop me like some of your water. Joke's on you. The only person that can stop me is me. And also a few other people, but that's not worth getting into right now. What is worth getting into? Wait. Is this where we just were at the start of the game? Are you a part of a bike? Hello. My name is Sable. And I want to build a bike. Do you happen to know where I can get the pieces that a bike would live on, in, within, part of? I guess not. Alright. She said it was inside the old dam. Where, oh, where could the bike part be? This is the one she told me to go to, right? No, that's not. I keep hitting the wrong fucking one. Yeah, this is where she told me to go. Hmm. Do I have to get on top? Maybe I gotta get on top. It's a little weird that the the uh, tutorial stuff still. You can do it, Sable. I believe in you. Nope. Okay. Never mind. I no longer believe in you. Not because I stopped, but because you gave me no reason to anymore. Now, how the fuck do I get up there? Like air that I activate or something? I still don't understand what this button does. Did it just open that door and that's all it does? Oh. 
I don't understand what's going on. All right. I'm supposed to go up somewhere. Hmm. Button that opens the door is a very important button. I mean, yeah, but is that all it does? Because it still makes a sense. Uh, I don't know. That was just a. That's just a graphical thing. I saw the outlines of the vines and thought it was. Thought it was like an air current. Alas, tis was not an air current. was not an air current, I guess is what I should say. I'm pretty sure I gotta get up there somehow, but I don't know how. Come on. No, come on. Come on, Sable. Just, just. Uh, just get up there. Maybe I'm not supposed to go there. I don't know. Where else could I go? This is all there is. Is this not the dam? This might not be the dam. I might... Oh my god, it's not the dam. That's why. I went to the wrong place. I'm a goddamn fool. I was wondering why it had me go back to the place where the game started. Dress, this bike sucks! It sounds like it's going to fucking fall apart next to me! I'm gonna sue Driss. I'm gonna sue Driss, and I'm gonna sue Driss's wife, and I'm gonna sue Driss's children. And I'm gonna sue Driss's bike. I'm just gonna sue everything associated with Driss. Fuck that guy. All my homies hate Driss. I'm one of them. Here we are. In the dam. For real this time. Boop ba doop ba doop ba da. Hmm. That's a box. I can't open boxes. Everybody knows that it's illegal for teenagers to open boxes. But not for them to open dams! It's a really weird loophole in the law, and we really should, like, figure out a way to close it. Well, I'm sure that was perfectly fine. And exactly what was supposed to happen. There we go. Why was it rumbling? I don't like that it was rumbling. Boop, 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 boop. Gonna pick up this thing and put it in here. Dun, 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 dun. Guess missed some holes. Hmm. For you, we got a control panel. Two more parts left, baby. I do like that there's just a boat sitting in here. What's this way? Uh, wish I had my bike. This would be a lot faster on a bike. But it's fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. This is why the universe gave us legs, so that we could regret the decision. Uh, 
I would feel fucking terrified to walk under a rock this big. No thank you, sir. No thank you. All good on that. Oh, I'm totally gonna have to do it again to get back. What if there isn't even anything up here? That is, a, that is an upsettingly possible thing. Hello, boat. Please tell me I didn't waste my time. Oh, there was stuff up there. Maybe this won't have been a waste. Doop, doop, doobity doop, doobity doobity doop. Oh, God. Ah, all right. What's up here? Oh, cool, a shrine. Yep. Time to rob it. That's what you do when you see shrines, kids. You rob them. Never let them tell you that they, that you can't rob them. They will try to tell you that. Oh, it became nighttime. I don't know when, but it came became nighttime. Was there something up here? Ah, yep. All right. Hey, it's another one of these things. I still don't fully know what these are. But we got more chum eggs, which sound really unappetizing. Like, that's the worst name for an egg you could give it. Chum is the goop you feed to sharks. I don't want my eggs to be associated with that. And I really don't think that's much to ask, really. Alright, let's see if we can actually make it up this. We sure can. Alright, good. I want to get back to my bike. That's where the bike lives. Anything down here? No, there's just the, the ladder. I want to build a bike that doesn't suck. Please give me parts to build this bike that doesn't suck. Where did I put the bike that does suck? All right. Whee! Yeah! Did you see that sick nose turn that I definitely did on purpose? Me too. Time to do another one. Woo! Oh, that one sucked. Dress your bike is garbage. It's bad and you should feel bad. God damn it, I'm gonna make you feel bad. Hold on. Hold up. Was there anything in this boat? There is something in the boat. Money? Money. I feel like a currency being broken ship parts in a world where you can just go find almost fully intact broken ships is not asking for a great economy. I don't know. Something tells me that uh, that economy wouldn't really stand up to literally anything. I don't know. I'm not an economist. I'm a gamer. 
the least, the most, the furthest away from an economist you could possibly get. Haha, -ha, our industry is gonna crash. And we'll be the cause. Welcome to the stream. You know what else is gonna crash? Driss's bike directly into his home. Whether or not I am on it when that happens has still still remains to be seen. But it's possible. Go up this thing. Is the part up here and I just wasn't allowed to pick it up yet? Hmm. Guess not. It must be over there. Whoop! I'm sure the fact that this thing is pulsating and making a sound. An atomic power supply. Definitely something I should be holding in my human hands. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this. Is there more up? There might be more up. Shit. Okay, there we go. Uh. Climb, Sable, climb. Oh god, no, we're not gonna make it. Sable, we're not gonna make it. Sable, we fucked up. We regret it. There are regrets now. I don't think we're gonna find anything else here. Back to the bad bike. Where is the bad bike? It's that way. Excuse me. Very safe looking red coils of energy. I have to go get my bad bike. Alright, let's go figure out where the fuck we're supposed to get these stupid fucking beetles. What is the one I still have? Oh, is that still pointing to the old ship? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just pointing to the old ship. Hey kid, fuck you, I'm coming in at high speeds! Tell them what you saw! Ah! Ah! Perfect landing. We did it, everybody. Perfect, perfect landing. Uh, Jody, do you know where the fuck to find beetles? Do you know about... Oh, I could just say, do you know about Slimer's hiding place? I know she spends a lot of time in the cave under the camp. You could have a look down there. That's Big Glider to you. I tell Jody I'm actually a Big Glider. She laughs. You're right, you are. Sable noted adult and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm big and strong. And definitely a well adjusted adult. Fuck you, kid. Let me watch let me walk straight into your stupid hideout. Oh, would you look at oh this isn't what I wanted. 
You win again, child. I thought I had her. How is it that Simon manages to contain so much chaos and verve in such a small a form? Even now, there's something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask. I know it. Where's the calibrator, you stupid fucking child? Ah. Guess what, Sima? And I didn't even have to pick up one goddamn beetle. Go to hell, kid! Sima shrieks when she sees the calibrator in my hands and then bursts into tears at her mask. You'll leave! You'll leave on the gliding and you'll never come back! Just like Yara did! Don't you miss her too? You were her friend before she left. People leave. That's their choice. Get over it, kid. Tell Sima that Yara's allowed to do whatever she likes and if it's her choice to go, then we must respect it. I wonder if she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight in my voice, which I hope sounds like the wisdom of age. It doesn't. You wouldn't leave forever, right? Not forever. Please don't go. I'll be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she'll be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good, then I suppose I could come see you off. Alright, so the kid was trying to... Make it so that I didn't leave forever. But fuck you, kid. I want a bike. I want a cool bike. You stood in the way of me and a cool bike. A crime that I cannot forgive. I hope you live to be old and miserable. For the rest of your days. Hi, I'm Joe DeVader and I used to work with children as my job. Return to Seizo with part with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready, baby. Then let us head to the workshop. Non shitty bike. Non shitty bike. She's relaxing in the workshop, blah, 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 blah. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. I hit the button too early again. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They always have belonged to her. All we're doing is assembling her from what she's already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe the machines have names, held for ages, like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. <laughs> Fuck yes. Gliding bike booster. Gliding bike front. Time to put this shit together. Make me a bicycle. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Listen. Caesar tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simone. All at once, I know the hoverbike's name. Simone. I say it in a whisper to let Caesar know. Simon. Simon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Caesar looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. 
I tell Simoon that I am eager to get to know her better, and Sizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Sizo is prone to such things. I can read in her tone that she meant it quite sweetly. I hope God abandons you. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. That was really loud. It's a machinist badge. You'll be plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth and they'll give you badges. I thank Cizo twice for good measure and give a bow. I'm ready. Give me my bike. Give bike. Okay, where do I go now? Still registering the other one. I guess I go up? I don't think I, I don't think the demo lets you fly the real ass bike. So, doesn't let you fly, s ride Seamoon. So we're very soon going to be in stuff I did not see in the demo. Sable, that cartographer landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him. See if you can't get a map. I nod and begin to go, but Jotty gestures me back and puts something in my hand. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. Fuck yeah, Jotty knows what's up. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank JD effusively and head out on my way. Hi, ma'am. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. What are you looking at? Voices. I don't know how she's done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which is now, I un which I now understand, is her daughter, Ilaria. Do you want me to get her back? No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, no. I fucked up. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, how y'all doing today? Bye. So anyway, how about that direct, everybody? While I, for the second time, try to climb up to talk to this cartographer. I thought it was pretty good. I did not expect to see an Act Razor remake at any point in my life. Nor did I expect it to be out today. Maybe I should stream that next week. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. Really? Okay. Hey, Dieva, what the fuck is up with your mask, dude? I have played Act Razor. Uh, I played it a long time ago. I approach the cartographer. Oh, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly in my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Longingly? I clarify that I was looking curiously and that balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. 
Fair enough. I suppose when you can ensconce yourself in a peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky, the balloon loses some of its charms. But I'll accept your curiosity. You give the balloon an approving nod so that he doesn't feel too bad. Well, good to meet you. And, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. I suppose, suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. I'll buy that map. Perfect. Let's trade then. Map of the Ewer. Thank Jordan for the Ewer map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you from Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. Thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child! I'm gonna break your balloon. Oh, the game won't let me climb this man's house. The cowardice. But yeah, I played I played Act Razor in like 2014 on a on a Super Nintendo Pro. That game's good. the The platforming sections are aged a little bit poorly, but I returned to Jotty with a new lightness. I don't know if that circle's supposed to be there. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Cizo gave it to me. I tell Jotty that Cizo gave you the badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. Keep a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed from the Mask Caster in no time. I've tried to think about going to a Mask Caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. It's just you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? We'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you'll know. Now of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. The face door, you say? There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to Jody here. Depths of love, and gratitude, and fear, and worry, and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They're dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of Ibexi. You will be simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you, always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin, and I'm ready. How do I... Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! Shit. Well, I think the game just crashed. Uh, I can't... I can't move the menu. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? For some reason... No. Oh, no. What is happening? What is happening? How 
do I? Why won't it let me fucking? What's happening? I don't understand. I just want to put on my things. So it doesn't seem like the menus work on gamepad. That's a little bit weird. Oh my god. What is happening? I don't... I can't get out of the... I can't get out of the menu. Oh god. Am I going to have to fucking force quit this? I'm going to put on... Okay, so it's looking like I'm going to have to force quit the game. Because it has straight up just... decided to stop working. Stand by, everybody. I don't know how that ends up looking on. Hi, you get to see that there is stuff behind where the game usually goes. Isn't that neat? It's probably neat. Uh, I paused the game, and for some reason, uh, the game decided it didn't want me to do that. Okay, it's back. It's got to do a bunch of loading. Come on, man. I just want to fly the good bike. I want to fly the cool bike. What if it didn't save? I don't actually know if this game auto saves. Okay, thank Christ, it auto saves. Question is, when did it auto save? Get rid of this now. Maybe one day we'll be allowed to play this game. All right. Ah, oh, there we go. It works! Yeah, baby! I got a cape now! Alright, where's the where's the face door? The face door! There it is! Fuck out of the way, birds! The sky belongs to me today! I just want to be able to fly my cool bike. Let me ride the cool bike. I don't want to ride the stupid sand cutter. It sucks and it's dumb. Nobody likes it. And also, Driss sucks. I hope Driss is the only character I ever see again so that I can fucking drive a bike straight into his body. Breaking every single bone. That giant head was guarding a giant lady. She's huge! And that archer's gonna kill her! I don't know where that archer was. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's 
climb up this. Come on, Sable. Nope. All right. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Hold on. There we go. This place sounds trippy. I like it. Man, lady. Why does the world let you have two big ladies? This archer is going to kill her. Oh no, it's an assassination plot. I'll save you. Okay. I see now. I see what's up. I see what's up. This is where I was supposed to go. Or was it? I can't. I honestly cannot tell. Oh, and there were stairs here the whole time. So we want to get up there. The question is, how the fuck do we get up there? Is there a reliable way to get up there? There is. That worked. Uh, now what? Now where? Uh, some of the... Some of the camera finickiness gets a little bit much at times. Is that it? Was that the last one? Or is it... No, there's another one up there. Wait, was there a statue up there that I missed? Must have been a statue. Hmm. Now what? I thought that was going to be a pit. It was not. Almost there. Can't I don't know if there's one or two more. I think this is the last one. Yep. Oh god, we st we did it again. We summoned another deity. We did it. Where are you? Where is that mask? It should be on front. mood uh, I can't tell how much of the frame rate is the game purposely having a lower frame rate or 
my computer saying no no frames for you today you think you can play this game but get frames at the same time fuck you how how dare you insult me like that it's just kind of what i imagine my computer says all the time i'm usually right That's not what I meant to do. Who's ready for cool bike? I've never been more ready for cool bike. Cool bike's what I need in this world. Give me that cool bike. I want to see my cool bike. I just want to ride the bike. Uh. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Jotty's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. But gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in translation, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice, and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see Utari at the, then the machinist at Burnt Oak Station, the monk Sizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I will keep another message once we've... Send another message once we've returned to the Ewer. So keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. It takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Where's my cool bike? Oh, that's rad. I can call the bike. I can call the bike. That's fucking sick. Hell yes. Oh, this bike handles so much better than that shitty bike that Driss gave me. Title drop. Are we getting the title drop? Hell yeah, we are.
I don't know when the song stops playing, but it's a good song. Oh, that answers my question. It ends now. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play. What this? There's something like that in the other place, too. Wait, are these the eggs that I've been collecting? Guess we're gonna climb some shit. Ah! Ah! It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. See? Look, we made it. We made it. Not 100% certain this is how I'm supposed to be climbing this, but you know what? Adventure doesn't come without sacrifice. Sometimes that sacrifice ends up being your bones, all of them. But, you know, you gotta be ready for that eventuality. You can't keep your bones forever. Eventually, you need to let go. What is this? What? Why? What are you? Does it explode? No, it doesn't explode. I don't know what that was, but we all experienced it together. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I don't think there's going to be anything up here. I think that puffy thing was what we were supposed to... What we were supposed to go after. I want to see what's over there. But first, I guess let's go find the puffy thing. What are you? Tell me your secrets. I must know. I don't understand what you are. What do you do? What if I take it to this thing? No? This can't be healthy. Sable very much should not be letting all of this smoke billow into her face. But it's fine. She'll be fine. Hi? Oh, hello! I don't... I don't know what that... What is... Um... Okay. No! I see. Come on, buddy. The puffy thing is this way. Look at all the huffs and puffs it does. Can you believe it? It does so much. First it huffs, and then it puffs, and then it actually does both of those things again. Uh, many, many times. Ah! This is probably a very good idea. I'm probably doing a very smart thing right now. What a good start to the adventure. We're going to walk into this thing's nest that could stomp us to death immediately. Oh, cool. And also, it seems like it might be carnivorous. Rad! We made good decisions today, Sable. We've been granted freedom and a giant hover bike for all of 20 minutes. And we're walking into a monster's lair. What is this? We found a larva husk. 
It seems like something I shouldn't be picking up. But here we are. Who built this fucking thing? Why is there why is there like a balcony? Oh. That's why. Well, sucks to be that person. Well, I guess no, it doesn't. Once you die, things stop sucking for you pretty quickly. Like, immediately, actually. Okay, 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 camera. Camera, 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 camera. Thank you, camera. I don't even know what I'm going to use these larvae for, but I'm going to steal them anyways. Well, here we are. Holy shit. Okay, there was something over there. We made it. Uh, it's a covered wagon, or I guess it used to be a covered wagon at some point. Sadly, it has lost that designation. Okay, now I'm pretty sure these frame drops are my computer. Hey, I stole some of your kids. I hope you're not angry about that. Well, bye. Joke's on you, sucker! My bike's faster than a beetle! I hope. I haven't actually tested that. Let's not test that theory yet. Alright, where do we go next? Whee! Like I said, I don't know if we're going to be going much longer. Uh, one, it's been about two hours. Uh, also, my computer is starting to give up. I thought that would lead to something. It didn't. But that's something. There's a balloon. Let's go talk to this balloon guy. This game might need a couple of patches. Because, like, do you see how she's, like, jerking backwards? It's really weird. Ah. Yeah, the game is actively giving up, so we're going to go check out this balloon. All right, we have a map, don't we? I could have been using that. But where's the fun in that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Boop, 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 boop. I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to stop for now because the game is, is starting to chug and I assume that's something to do with uh, OBS being run. But that is Sable! Okay, good, that still works. Um, <laughs> That is Sable. 
or at least the first uh, hour and uh, first two hours of, of Sable. Uh, I like it so far. It is very low key and chill, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking to see what its world has to offer. But before that, look at that. It's a schedule. Uh, on Saturday, I will be playing Bastion. Uh, I'm going to try and do it all in one stream. It's one of my favorite games of all time. You should definitely stop by and watch it and listen to the sweet, sweet, sultry voice of Logan Cunningham. A voice we should all wish to hear more in everyday life. And then on Sunday, we have Metroid Fusion with Matt. It's the final game for the Metroid Game Club. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, next week I've already seen the schedule. Or I've already basically put together the schedule for next week. It's going to be a lot more full than this. And that's going to be weird. But for now, thank you everybody for joining me. I'm ready to die. Are you?